Are you leading in love? Do you see the God in them? Do you see them as God sees them? Or are you just talking? Are you just doing something for you? Are you just saying this to get this off your chest so you can feel better? I really think you should ask yourself that. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another beautiful moment with joy. <laughs> y'all know that I love my talks with y'all. I love our time together. I love the time and space that we spend together to get ourselves right, to clean up some stuff, to bring some stuff to our awareness. And I really take these moments uh, so serious. Um, and I'm very intentional about the message that I bring to you. And if they have been helping you, if you have been listening, which I know you have, make sure y'all let me know. Make sure y'all comment, send me an email, send me something to let me know that this content is working for you. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. And make sure this video that you send to two people who may need an encouraging word. Um, Make sure you go to my YouTube page and look back at Moments with Joy. There are so many rich messages in there for you and for me. I go back and listen myself, okay? So today, y'all, I already made a moment about the power of your words. And I wanted to elaborate because I told you why your words are powerful and what they do, right? Um... But I wanted to dig a little deeper. So this episode is about think before you speak. We have to start thinking before we speak. Think before we speak. And in this episode, I'm going to give you three questions to ask yourself before you give anybody any words of encouragement, advice, these are things that I want you to question and ask yourself before you open your mouth to speak and not even to other people. This is for you too. Joy, what you mean for me? When you start speaking, speaking to yourself, when you begin to either encourage yourself or not, I want you to ask yourself these questions before you say anything out loud in the atmosphere. Life and death are in your tongue. It's, it's true. That tongue can either bring life or bring death. And it's up to you to choose what you want to use your mouth and your words for. Okay? Um, in this life, words matter. They matter so much. And we could, we could pretend like they don't, but they do. They create our world and they, they shape our reality. Okay, words, the things we choose to say. Okay, there is power in the words you speak. I am very intentional about the words that I choose to say, the words that I choose to even use um, on this journey of being a life coach. I have to really ask myself questions before I begin a session. I have to sit, I have to pause. I have to really meditate on what God wants me to say. Because sometimes our emotions can get in the way of a good word. And I mean life. I'm super, super careful about my words when it comes to this. Because I am aware that my words can either build up or tear down. Okay? So when we use our words, we want to go for the positive. We want to go for the positive. We want to go for the things that speak life. We want to go toward the light. Let's go toward the light. Okay, And there are times because you're saying, Joy, there are times when I ain't really feeling like when the truth is the truth is the truth that I can't do it, that I'm stupid, that I'm dumb, that this is dumb. I ain't never going to be able to do it. Man, why all this always happening to me? Well, it's me. All of those things, we cutting them out. We're cutting them out. They are shaping your world and they are going to come back to you however many fold okay so either you want to build yourself up or you want to tear it down you want to build somebody else up or you want to tear them down what are you putting in the atmosphere 
about you. Even when you say something to somebody else, what are you putting in the atmosphere about them? What are you putting into the atmosphere about you? And I'm not saying don't be honest with yourself, right? The honest truth is right now I feel yucky. Everything in my life is completely crumbling around me. That's, the, that's, that's what you're feeling. Acknowledge your feelings. Acknowledge it. Be, be, be honest about it. But follow it up with the truth, which is who you are, what you're going to accomplish, and the fact that you can't fail at anything unless you choose to. Okay, um, my pastor taught me something a long time ago. Surround yourself with people who speak life. My pastor, Sonny Badu, shout out to the doctor, Sonny Badu of the Rock Hill Church in Stone Mountain, Georgia, y'all. Um, I was going through a really, really hard time um, with a family member, and I remember that I wasn't speaking at the time. And I wanted to say something so bad, y'all. I wanted to say something so bad. And the words that he gave me was Proverbs 13, 16. I'm not even sure he remembers this. But the New Living Translation says, wise people think before they act. Fools don't. And they even brag about their foolishness. Wise people think before they act. And he used to just say, be quiet. Because what you about to say is about to be more detrimental than the actual situation. Because I wasn't being wise. And my goal was to always be wise, be wise, be wise, right? And the three questions that I'm going to give you are going to help you make the wise decision. Okay? Um, let Another Bible verse that he gave me was, let us think of ways to motivate each other. Hebrews 10.24 let us get together and motivate each other. Words, let, let those words be motivation. Let those words be life. Those are Bible verses that I, that I continue to look at when I'm about to speak anywhere. Even if it's a one person or 10,000 people. I'm going to make sure that I am thinking before I speak. I'm thinking before I act. Okay, so you're like, Joy, all right. What are the three questions that I need to ask myself before I speak? The first one is, what will my words do? What will my words do? When I, when I say what I'm about to say because it's burning me in my chest and I just got to get it off, what will they do when they come from my lips? That small piece of body part called the tongue is so small right? So small, but can cause so much damage. And it can also cause so much life. Which one you want to choose? Which one you want to choose to throw out? Okay? Because sometimes when we mad, well, we want to give a person a piece of our mind. Or, I, or, or you read a comment and you don't like the way that that person said that comment. I know for a fact in my life, I have to ignore it. Because if I give them a piece of my mind, what does that do? It shows me who I really am. It shows me the core of who I am, which is not bitterness, anger, and rage. It's love. It's power. It's sound mind. Okay? So what will my words do? Will they tear somebody down or will they build somebody up? Will my words tear me down or will they build me up? So that's the first question. What will my words do? What will my words do? Okay, so before you speak, pause and say that question and really think and really, really, really think on that answer. Okay, second question, will this build up or tear down? So what I'm about to say, is this person going to walk away and want to commit suicide? And I know that's deep and I know that's like way beyond some of y'all's understanding, but sometimes a word can be way more detrimental than what that person is actually going through. You could, I, I know, I, I read a few um, posts about women who deal with infertility and the, and the questions and the comments and the responses that they get from people, it really tears them up. And the person is really trying to be nice. Oh, you can have another baby. Oh, just try again. No. No. Why 
watch your words. So will that will that build her up or will that tear her down? Because yes, she knows that she can try again. And sometimes, guess what? They've been trying and you telling them to keep trying isn't helping. Okay? You send love and you lead with love. And that is it. If you don't have the right words, especially if you've never been through that, because I've never been through that. If you don't have the right words to say, let's just go back to the old, the old foundational way. Don't say nothing at all. <laughs> If you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. And I know some of you are thinking, but what if I need to say it? What if they need to know that they're angry? What if they need to know that they're bitter? What if they need to know this, that, and the other? There's a way to tear down because there is seasons where everything will be built up, tear it down, sleep, rest, die, live. There's a season for everything. So the tear down, lead with love. Say to a person and tear it down in love. Okay, don't let your good be evil spoken of. Meaning, example, Joy, how can I tear somebody down in love? Because you want to, you know, you want to make the person feel hopeful. If you notice something about your friend that you know they could change, an area that they aren't really paying attention to, but you know that this part of them is hurting a ton of people around them, but they just can't see it and that part of them needs to be torn down and rebuilt back up, there's a way to put that in a loving container and served. <laughs> okay? Make that person feel hopeful at the end. Like, okay, I see. I see. I can't, I can't treat everybody that way. I should watch my words. I am a bit bitter. Leave some hope and love if you have a word that may make somebody feel bad but when it comes to what i said before leave these mothers alone and let and send love and light okay so is this gonna build up or tear down am i speaking life or i'm speaking death and it's important to surround yourself with people who speak life for a living i say that when it comes naturally Surround yourself with people who do it on purpose, who do it in intentionally say, I'm opening my mouth to only speak life. I'm only giving what's good because that's all that matters. I want the person in front of me to know that they are loved, adored, seen, powerful, beautiful. I want because they're I'm your mirror. Mm. You're all those things. And so am I. So I'm only going to speak what I think about myself to you. That's a whole nother, that's a whole nother episode. Surround yourself with people who speak life so you can start speaking life and you know what it feels like to be spoken life to. The third question. Are you leading in love? Do you see the God in them? Do you see them as God sees them? Or are you just talking? Are you just doing something for you? Are you just saying this to get this off your chest so you can feel better? I really think you should ask yourself that. Am I leading in love? Is this love? Is this God? Because if it's not, I would say stay, step back. <laughs> Calm down. And that burning in your chest that needs to get that word off, let's just go back and reevaluate it. Because if you're the only one leaving feeling good, then I don't really know who that word was for, you know? Um, because the person that needs the word needs the word. The person that needs the message needs the message. The person that needs life needs life. And if your word is an accomplishing life, it needs to be left alone, including to yourself. You're not dumb. You're not stupid. The mistake you made wasn't dumb and a waste of time. Everything was for purpose and on purpose. Okay. And I want y'all to think about that before we start just talking. Because people can walk away from your word and either live or die. It's important and it's huge and it's major. 
So today, what are our three questions that we're going to ask before we even open our mouths to help or hurt a situation? <laughs> what will my words do? What will they accomplish? What will they bring forth? Will this build up or will this tear down? Am I leading with love and do I see them as God sees them? Perfect. Whole. That's it. That's the post. Ask, you, ask yourself those questions before you speak to yourself, to anybody, okay? So I hope today this episode, Thinking Before We Speak, helped you in some way. It's definitely helped me along this journey, and it will continue to because there's power there, y'all. We're such powerful beings, and it's just law. What you speak will come to you. What you write down, what you think will come to you. So why not speak life so life can come to you? Drop them seeds of life. No more death. We faith talking it out. We're faith talking it out. Even if you don't believe it. I am wealthy. I am whole. I am comfortable. I am happy. I am loved. I am adored. Start speaking the things that you want. Tap into that, okay? We tapping into it today. We tapping into it. We want to be wise counsel for the people that God put in our vicinity. Like we want we, the people that are close to us. We all want to help. We all, everybody does. So speak life, okay? Go with that today. Speak life for the rest of your life. Okay? And I hope this helped y'all today. It definitely helped me. So, Please tune in. Make sure you subscribe to A Moment with Joy on YouTube. And I love y'all, love y'all, love y'all for real. I love y'all for real. And we're going to be great. We all healing, okay? So see you next time on A Moment with Joy. Peace.